Pop-Tarts required to tell you that they put garlic powder. Friends, this is it. The last episode. This is the first part of the last episode of I Bought the Lie Season 2. So within the next few weeks, I'll make and upload, make, record, edit, upload other parts. I Bill the Lies, a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. Bean. Okay. Yeah, last episode. One more episode. Made it to the top of the tower of unbearable stupidity. Wait, no. We just made it to the tower, but we haven't climbed up the tower yet. I'll say the other episodes led us to the tower. When the video gets over here, up there, that's when we climb to the top of the tower. That makes me think of vertical scrolling, which I think can only happen in the sub world. But I don't know. Look at the bingo board. I agree with Dave and Anne were both right. And if he falls for a troll that was avoided earlier, if he says, heck, if he gets an invincibility star, steers a blowy joey or a twister McFister, you know, one of those things that look like tornadoes or bubbles or something, and then when Mario goes on it, Mario floats up. Fake back to CP1. It looks like we're going to CP1, but we don't. If there is a poison mushroom, not necessarily if he touches it, if he presses his Serenity Now button, which I don't think he's done that much lately, has he? I'm not sure. Haven't been catching many streams. If there is a 50 coin, it looks like... It, it doesn't say collects a 50 coin, so if there is a 50 coin. Or a 50 bagger. Okay, if he says gaming... Uh, uh, okay, if he switches to the Luigi... Character. That's the only way to see Luigi. If he dies to an icicle, there's the free space. There's a non-suspicious setup. She talks about the pioneers riding these babies for miles. And then if he says something about his old college days, not if I bring it up, just him. Well, it doesn't matter if I do or not. Only counts if he does. There's an angry wiggler. It has to be red. That's what makes it angry. If it's yellow, it's a wiggler that's not angry. There must be a red angry wiggler. If he says, why would anyone go in here? Sometimes he, there's a, an area that, now obviously there's no way out, or there's only death. He would ask, why would anyone go in here? And uh, he sometimes, or often, goes in there anyway. If he talks about a swamp with a stink eye, so if you get, so if there's a sideways swamp, well, I guess it could be a vertical swamp too. If you get close to it, but actually, does that only apply to the world? Super Mario World? I'm not sure. At least that one. At least Super Mario World, maybe some other styles. You get close to the swamp, the swamp will go to stink eye. And then if you get closer, the swamp will move. Okay, originally, this just, this space said, just a dad joke, if you give a dad joke. But I wanted to fit Craig in there. Not Ferguson. I mean, I, uh, what snake is that? I, I don't know. It, okay. If Craig appears or there's a he's he said a dad joke. So I had to put those together. Those are not very often in these videos. Okay. Any now I can check for this one now if there's any postage stamp. I don't think there are any postage stamps. 
A postage stamp would be four and a corner. Like, could be A1, B1, A2, B2. Or D1, E1, D2, E2. Or A4, B4, A5, B5. Or D4, E4, D5, and E5. So, two by two and any corner is a postage stamp. There's no postage stamp here. No postage stamp on the third board. No postage stamp on the second board. Um, there's no postage. Oh, look, we were so close to a postage stamp on the first board. If there was a pick a path, then we would have, po have a postage stamp. But there's no postage stamp. Oh, by the way, I don't have any eye switches. Look in the pinned comment for a link to I Belong to Lie spreadsheet, season two spreadsheet, and there's a link for the eye switches, which is also in this tab. Submit your own eye switches. I want to have my viewers make shenanigans. Submit your eye switches. All right, back to Bingo 5. If he says one shot Johnson, doesn't matter if he does it or not. But if it's troll level, like one big video dedicated to one level. Sometimes trolled has, the troll series has two per in an episode. I don't know. Three of the same beam color in a row. Doesn't matter what combination of good or bad they are, but if it's the same pair, the same color. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be pear, juicy pear. It could be any pair of good or bad flavors. Do it K-Mick or Magic Koopa. Different names for the same thing. And then if it's a collaboration with more than one person. And it is, if you can see the description, Bearware and Steve-O! Okay, so that gets a bold. Without further ado, how long was this ado? This ado is... Eight minutes! Eight minutes of ado plus uh, ten seconds plus a little bit for that teaser. Editor B. Remember, put tease. You want to put... I want... We want... To put teasers. A little clip from somewhere in the middle of this part of the episode or the parts of the episodes at the beginning before I say hello my friends welcome to Pack Valham and this is it episode five. okay I don't want to go back <laughs> oh let me comment up there and we'll find that out when we get to it somewhere Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Troll oh. Series, a series where we are continually showing it can be a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The level that's going to be making me look like an idiot today is called the Tower of Unbearable Stupidity Made by Bearware in collaboration with Steve-O. Oh... How this, oh boy. You guys have heard of Bearware, you've heard of Steve-O, you Dave, I bet you're gonna be in for a rough ride. Or, I mean, this was back in May. I, I bet he was in for a, a real rough ride. No, the trolley goodness that they bring to the table. And the fact that they work together to make this level has me a wee bit scared. But you know what? We're going to press on. We're going to do our best. Let's go ahead and fire it on up. I just realized this new Super Mario Brothers style, which that in and of itself is an accomplishment. To make a good level, well, I don't know if it's going to be good yet. It's Steve-O we are talking about here, friends. Ha <laughs> 
that bell is not suspicious at all. Actually, we saw what was behind him. And there is a Twister McFister. Look at that. Should I try other bingo board patterns for season three? Where instead of having five in a row, it could be postage stamp or four corners or uh, other bingo patterns. Oh, we almost squeaked through there. We almost squirted right through there, dude. Okay, so I don't think we want to do that. Maybe we, can we do it fast? Yes. Yes. What's in the pipe? <laughs> no. <laughs> no! I thought we had it. I thought that was like the, the plays. I thought we were making the plays. Alright. I alright. 5.1 and 1 minute 51 seconds. Yeah. Oh no! There's nothing I can say. Sweet. Bean time! What are those lose, lose, white ones? If I can find any out of what open. No, no. No. No, okay. I know of another company where most of their products are sweet and delicious things, good for the taste buds, but some of their things are shocking. And of course you know about this, but does anybody know about the Pop-Tarts Mr. E? Uh, thing that they had. So, um, actually I think the Bean Boozled might be worse. But does anybody know about these? I did not participate in this, but that's, we're already past that date, so. And my mother just got this box recently, but I was smart to read the ingredients to find out what could I figure out what the flavor is? Now me and some other people thought it was one of the regular flavors that they disguised. Like, oh is it brisket cake? Or is it strawberry? We also have strawberry pop tarts. Is it chocolate chip cookie dough? We also have chocolate chip cookie dough pop tarts. That's it. That's all the pop tarts we have. And or is it s'mores, etc. And we won't know until we eat it. But nope, that didn't happen. The mystery pop tarts. I'm warning you now. And it's a good idea to read ingredients. The FDA requires nutrition facts and ingredients to be listed. Or if the packaging is small, tell you where you can go to find the information. But anyway. Pop-Tarts required to tell you that they put 
garlic powder and dried onion or what is it salt dried onion and garlic powder in these pop tarts yeah and of course you could read reviews online I ate one of these even though I'd read the ingredients before and it was okay but do I like it better than a lot of these flavors? I mean, some of these are good. Some of these are bad. Breaking news! This just in. This is Edward or me. I'm editing the video. But then I took... Then, then when I got to the Pop-Tarts part, I tried to find the flavor by doing research online. Maybe I would find it. But... No, I did not find it. I only found reviews and guesses. And nothing official saying what flavor it is. But, I scanned the QR code, watched the AR thing, and there was a, a floating box of these, but it was like smaller in front of it. Mr. E came out and gave me clue number five. And I did it again, maybe I would get a different clue, but no, I also, again, got clue number five. And then I tapped a button that took me to this page that has all of the clues, and put the clues together. It is, the mystery flavor is, uh, editor me, try, uh, since they're my guess or the correct answer before I read these clues, have the viewers Try to figure it out from the clues I'm giving them. Oh yeah, Miss Event. You ever heard of an Oh yeah, Miss Event? Well, that's what the this flavor is. Clue one. When there's a mystery flavor to solve, what would Pop Tarts do? Pop Tarts would flee to the toaster when you chew on this first clue. Made for King, but made famous by Queens. I don't know what that clue, that part of the clue means. We're now eaten by everyone, even hard to please teens. Everything is on the table, but it's missing a centerpiece. Think about the shape of a donut. Think about the center of a donut. When it's whole, it's incomplete. Clue two is a license plate. At first, I couldn't figure it out, but I figured it out. Seasoning. So it's like a different seasoning. Clue number three, here's a clue, is a type of bread you can see through. Yeah. Clue four, heavily seasoned and can be eaten any season of the year. Clue number five, the one I got from, from Mr. E. Two halves make a whole, but there's still a hole. I was thinking, uh, okay, at first I was thinking a oh yeah, but some kind of a oh yeah, from this clue, because you know, have two halves of the web, but just do a hole in the middle. And clue six. You don't have to have perfect vision to see that everything you need to figure out the mystery flavor is right in front of you. Clue number seven. Hats off to you for making it this far. The answer is everything your savory senses desire. Clue number eight. Potential suspects. I'm a baker, and then... oh, there we go. Now I can see that better. Uh... Deception is crossed out. Barbohydrates. Uh, sounds like carbohydrates. And then Chad the intern is crossed out. Clue number nine Confer confirms it. Bay gal. Okay. Clue number 10, that's the last clue. Mr. E, I'm very unimpressed with your investigation. E, very thing. Everything. So it's an old egg and So yeah. Uh, editor me, try, uh, censor my guess or the correct answer before I read these clues. Have the viewers try to figure it out from the clues I'm giving them. 
Oh yeah, me a favorite everything bagel. Oh yeah, me a favorite everything bagel. Oh yeah, me a favorite everything bagel. Oh yeah, my bagel. Oh yeah, bagel. Oh yeah, bagel. Oh yeah, bagel. Oh yeah, me a favorite everything bagel. 420. Okay. Editor me again. I was looking for these. I wanted to show these. As I said, the answer, I couldn't find them. But when I put the mystery everything bagel pop tarts back, guess what I found? I found them. So the answer, what? Okay. So I read the clues. Now what's the answer? The pop, the mystery pop tarts flavor? Everything bagels. All right. 30 seconds, 18, almost 19 minutes. And I've only gotten two minutes, ten seconds. What? Oh, okay, 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 I get it. I think what we want to do is do the old... If a clown car touches spikes, it turns into a bird. Old spinneroonie. Yes, we're gonna take damage. That's okay, but we have another power. <laughs> I see how that worked. <laughs> That's like the worst thing ever. That's the worst thing ever, getting an empty Yoshi egg. Ooh. <laughs> Bear where? Where does this egg pop out of? Seriously, I've loved Sour Patch Kids probably since middle school. It's like the perfect ratio of sour and sweet. Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, I agree. It's, but it's been so long since I've had Sour Patch Kids. I do have toxic waste candies in my room, which has a higher concentration of sour. It's more sour, but then it becomes sweet. Oh, right there. There we go. I also have root beer jelly beans and holiday jelly beans, which includes pumpkin pie. I'll try the pumpkin pie beans. A long time ago, I used to like pumpkin pie, but then some number of years ago, I stopped caring for pumpkin. But if, but if I'm eating some of those flavors, I, I, I mean, why would I not try? pumpkin because if, if I can tolerate eating oh some flavors of things that aren't really intended to be eaten the real things you know then I should tolerate a flavor of something that is bumping the microphone but I'd, something tended to be eaten that I don't really care for now we're gaming now What? So the Okay. Uh I think you have to jump off of Yoshi. We're at three sixteen. John three sixteen is a well known verse that summarizes the gospel. Which is important for everybody to hear, but I'm not going to get into it now. Or should I? Not now, maybe next time. But it is important. And I know Dave knows about it. I want to make sure whoever's viewing, I don't want to offend them. But of course, I shouldn't offend them, just stating my knowledge. Okay. I, I guess I'm gonna go up here. Oh, that burp, which didn't really, well, it wasn't loud when it came up anyway. That burp tasted spoiled milk. Oh, this must be the tower. We're climbing the tower, y'all. Now, why would anyone go in there is what I wanna know. It doesn't matter here, there, doesn't matter. But that counts. 
Now, if he gets one of those stars, that'll count for D1. Oh. As tempting as it is to grab a star, why would actually... Okay, he got out. We're on a roll on the bingo board. Don't think I have cooking with gas on any of the bingo boards. Now, I could do something similar to what I did on A4 there and put... Uh, Cooking with gas and A2 there with game. I'm not gonna do that. But I will press Control Z or click out of it, press Control Z. Yo, let's. <laughs> he went in, got a star, came out, went back in, and is stuck in there. Uh, does that. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he avoided it the first time and went back. Okay. I'm not affiliated with DGR, but this is fair use commentary and stuff. Oh. Toadette's time to shine, baby. Take. Okay, I have Luigi on here, but not Toadette. Now, I'm only primarily showing. Troll, a, a few episodes of the Trolled series on I Belove to Lie. Occasionally, maybe other kinds of videos, but check out DGR's channel. As I click out Control Z, or after I click out in Control Z. See his other Mario Maker and also other games sometimes, series and challenges and shenanigans. And also, check out DGR Twitch channel. If you want to hang out with them live, take us home. Take us home, Toadette. Now I think we were right last time. Yo, let's go! <laughs> hey, I I think. Ask yourself, what's worse? Yoshi dying or Yoshi being stuck in a like purgatory state? In Maybe they're equally as bad. Inside the launchers there. Okay, well now we see that the boo ring, but we'll, we'll continue this on part Two of episode five. That's the second part of the last episode of I Belove to Lie season two. There's smart click the like buttons. I say that's plural because you see one under this video. I mean, you don't have to click the like button. I, I don't really click the like button or the dislike button. Even if I like a video, it's, I mean, it's just maybe I should. Every video that I like, click the like button. I mean, but there's so many good videos I've seen. Not just from him. Oh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by DGR in any way. Uh, but anyway, if you want to, you click the like button for this video, and, and then you find a link to that video, and there's another like button there. If you're a genius, you can click the subscribe button, and you can be a super genius. You click the subscribe button. And until next time, and you'll see me and Dave next time, but until then, take care. Thirty, or twenty, forty seconds to go until... Well, just stop it at twenty-nine, twenty-nine. Get hit by a spiky meatball. The title of your. I'm not gonna finish that reference. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you wouldn't get it anyway. If I finished. The mystery flavor is bagel. Bagel. Bagel.